so once this is done so here you can see so we are getting this data from the uh, from here so this is just a static data so we just want it to get it from database so we just want it to make the dynamic data so for that we will be uh, using the XGS so XGS is basically a JavaScript library for making HTTP requests so first of all let's install XGS so for that go to the browser here and go to npm here and just source for XGS and here just click here and you can see so this is the npm install xgs command here so you can just simply go here and just go into this client so let me just clear the terminal and here so just simply paste that and click enter so this will install the xgs here so you can see the xgs had been added so once you install the xgs so now we will be writing the code for uh, fetching the data from the database or we will be connecting our application with the backend so first of all so we will just define variables so just type const so just define users and set users so the users is basically for a current state of the component and the set users is basically for uh, which allows you to update the state stored in the users variable so here so we will be now using the hook called use state so just type use state so this will automatically import here so if you are not able to see this you can just manually type it as well and inside here so we will be defining the uh, empty array so just type empty so this use state is basically uh, used to initialize the state variable users as an empty array so once this is done so now we will be using the hook called use effect so just type use effect so use effect is basically a hook uh, which is basically used in react for managing the side effect in the functional component so let me just uh, go inside here so inside here so we will be creating a uh, asynchronous function called fetch data so just type fetch data and let's define a sync and inside here so we will just create a try catch block so just type try catch block here so inside the catch block so we will be just simply uh, printing the error so just type console dot log and just type error while fetching data and just simply print the error here so just type error and inside this try block so first of all so we will be getting the data from the database from the endpoint which we have used in backend so this is the endpoint so we will be using this uh, and we will also use the xgs here so you can just simply use the xgs by just typing await so we will just use await here and just type xgs so before using this xgs so we just have to make sure to import the xgs here as well so, so import xgs from xgs so since we have already installed xgs and just type xgs dot so we just, we just have to type get so this will basically face the data from the database and here so we just have to simply copy it from here so just copy this and paste inside here so this will face the data and now for testing so let's uh, store this into the some variables so just type const so let me just store it inside this variable called response so once you store this into the response so you can just simply set it using set users so set users so you simply call set users and here so just type response the data and here so at bottom so just simply uh, type face data so you simply call this face data inside here which will basically initiate the uh, data phasing process and inside here so we just have to add the empty array so by adding empty array so we can ensure that the effect will run only once so this uh, use effect will run only once so once this is done so just scroll down and just come inside this table body inside here so we will be now using the uh, map function to iterate the array so just simply open this curly braces and just type users dot map and inside here so we will be using the user and index so just type index and just create an arrow function inside here and simply return and inside here so we just have to simply copy it from here to here so just simply copy the table row from here to here so simply you can cut as well so just cut and paste here 
So you can see, so we have copied here and paste inside this return. So here, instead of this one, so we will be uh, adding the index. So just type index plus one. So since uh, the index is start from zero, so plus one will uh, make it start from one. And similarly here, so we will be using the users dot name. And similarly here, so we just want to add the user email. So just type user dot email. And here, so user dot address. So once this is done, so now if I just go into the application, so here you can see the error, so which is uh, expected error. So this is saying something like error while fetching the data, or this is saying access control allow origin. So now to fix this error, so we just have to simply uh, install the course. So for that, just go into this npm JS and source for course. So this is the Node.js course and simply copy this and paste inside this, uh, not in a client. So we just have to install inside the server. So just go inside server and simply install this course. And if you just go into this package.json, so here you can see the course has been successfully installed. So let me just go inside the index.js here. So just simply import the course from course. And here, so we just have to simply use the course. So just type uh, app.use and just type course and open the parenthesis. And once this is done, so if I just go into the full stack here and reload the application. So now you can see the application is working fine here. So now if I just add one more data from this uh, postman, so let me just go into this post here and instead of this demo user, so let me just call it demo only and demo one, two, three and simply say Canada. And if I just click and send, so the data has been added into the database. So if I just reload here, so you can see the data is added successfully. So now if I just go into the application and reload, so you can see the data is loading successfully and it is dynamic as well. So I think this is working completely fine. So we will later add the uh, auto reload feature as well. So before that, so uh, the dynamic feature or the XGS is working successfully and it is fetching the data from the database as well.